Hello everybody, welcome back to my channels and today I'm gonna to show you the another mini champs 118 skill die cast with full opening part uh, for the CLDC exclusive which is stand for the car lover die cast which is another company. Uh, I got the same price as this uh, BMW M3 from the small end motor car which is about £135 uh, but uh, I think whatever price that they're selling on their website but I think that giving the guys giving me a little bit discounts I think so that's why I get a little bit cheaper um, anyway so this one come in the uh, two other color uh, you can see on a box this is a metallic uh, gray with a black ring with the uh, white interior and this one is a matte blue with the uh, silver ring which is what I always prefer with the uh, brown interior and you also have the another color as well which I can't remember uh, so basically they are doing three color for the CLDC exclusive and this is BMW M4 obviously this is the uh, G82 which is the latest shape from the uh, BMW so let's take a closer look on this one um, so the front is very similar to the M3 to be honest and also the side grills and everything looks exactly the same as the M3 and the grills look the same, the headlight look the same the light details on the front is actually not too bad you can see a little bit blue hinted around which shows the uh, this is the laser uh, light for the uh, BMW. But then again, uh, one thing I always have a problem with is a uh, mini champ is the, the trunk. I don't know why they have a massive gap on the uh, front here, and it doesn't really shut properly either. You can see that a little bit lift up, and that is one problem I have with mini champ. To be honest, I always have this quality control with the mini champ and there is no button to lift up either at the bottom which is kind of annoying so otherwise I could lift it up easily and so because of this gap and that is uh, one thing that I will say about this one but uh, you got this little sticker here on the bonnet and also you got little decals and little sticker around on the engine so in terms of engine detail what is a little bit better than Nora or iScale and what I really like is the, this trunk, uh, this opening mechanism uh, style. So I really hate the dot-like style from the Norav or also the uh, Buagos and every other company. Uh, LCD and Campfire use the uh, Strack style which is better. But this style is also not too bad, I'm absolutely happy with that. Anyway, so if I shut it, it looks okay. Uh, a little bit uh, doesn't shut properly but it's okay. Uh, the wheel has the uh, turning with the link with the steering wheel and uh, also the uh, suspension kick is really nice and uh, brake discs and calipers are also cool, it's not too bad uh, the back also has a suspension uh, the suspension on the back is a little bit jerky than the front uh, the front is a lot smoother I would say uh, underneath that you got some more detail, the same as M3 and then uh, let's look at the back and the light details on the back is also not too bad and you got carbon fiber effects uh, spoiler lips and also the um, all the little details here as well uh, but there is no heat line on the windscreen which is annoying uh, but that's how it is always on the mini champ uh, so if I open it there is a trunk has the uh, little carpet here and the exhaust details are not bad it's quite deep and you know this is how it's supposed to be this is really realistic I really like that carbon fiber effects are also not too bad but not good as the uh, LCD obviously but um, I'm not complaining too much it's okay it's acceptable and obviously on the side here there is no opening part on the fewer flat or anything like that and you got painted uh, piece underneath there and again on this model it's a little bit uh, didn't glue properly on the black part here but it's okay it's not gonna fall off I think even if it is fall off I think I can super glue it back it shouldn't be a problem but you can see that it's a little bit of things like this for quality control for the mini champ anyway so interior had a carpet that seat has a nice carbon fiber effects on the back of the seat and then the door has all the little silver part as well and so it's generally not too bad you know I can live with that interior is, is actually really really good um, that's one thing I like about mini champs uh, interior is where they especially specialize in um, yeah and if I go to the front uh, yeah so it's also not too bad and then let's look at the, uh, the other driver sides here so the driver side is actually also really good 
and you can see all the BNW logos, all the gear shift and paddle, carbon fiber effects on the center console, the sat nav. So generally, it looks not too bad at all. So, yep. Uh, and the only problem that I have is the uh, the trunk doesn't look really shut properly. That's number one. Number two is the, the doors um, has really sealed gap here, so it's very difficult to open it. I can't even fit anything in here. So the gap on the door is really nice, but it's too sealed, you know, too close. So it's very difficult to open actually. So even I can't fit my fingernails in here. Absolute, you know, it's such a nightmare. I can't use this to open it either. I use the stick to open it. It doesn't work either. So. Eventually, I have to really carefully push it out and eventually it's open. Otherwise, it is no problem with this model. Okay, right, let's look at the front and the, uh, the comparison the, uh, with the M3. So, as you can see here, the M3 and the M4s are exactly identical. Uh, M3 trunk line is a little bit better. Obviously, it shut properly, but the M4 did not shut. And you got grill here, and on the M4 is a bit different design. It's completely flat. That's the only thing different between these two. Okay, the wheel. First, I thought they are actually the same wheel, but when I look closely, uh, you can see here it's not exactly the same at all. The alloy wheel on the M3 and M4 is a bit different design, and you can see here on the side by side comparison. Otherwise, they are exactly the same uh, in terms of brake disc and caliper. It is really nice and decent size actually. So you got yellow painted one on the blue one on M4, and then you got red one on the M3. So generally, interior is also exactly the same. Uh, the, but the seat is a bit different. Obviously, you got M4 has a bucket seat. Okay, so the M3 doesn't have it. M3 has a normal standard luxury seat I suppose and so that is one thing the difference uh, hopefully you can see it a bit better on the camera but uh, I can see it in person it's a bit different and also you can see that on M4 C has a little bump on it and the M3 has completely flat here on the seat as well so the mirrors is exactly the same on the side mirror you got carbon fiber on the M4 you got completely piano black on the M3 uh, the paint job is uh, matte and metallic, so that's the difference between these two. Okay, uh, let's look at the back. The back is okay. This is kind of tricky one to do it on the camera, so I'm gonna have to rotate it around. Right, so okay, here we go. Right, so and again, exhaust details are exactly the same. Um, hmm, what's the difference? I don't see anything different at all, apart from the uh, the light. You know, the lights on the M3 is like a typical 3 c design, and the M4 is a bit different. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything much different at all, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can't tell at all. They're all exactly the same. Uh, what I don't like on the M4 is this like uh, signal, uh, signal uh, and this area looks a bit, you know, bland and it looks a bit boring. Uh, somehow it didn't do it properly. Um, M3 on the signal light is a bit better and it's definitely better than M4 for sure. Yeah, apart from that, they are exactly the same car and different, uh, you know, slightly different uh, tweak around between coupe and saloon car, so that's the only thing difference. So, anyway, uh, I hope that this video is helpful and it's really a good model. Mini Champ is stepping up finally so especially the CLDC models are really good uh, I don't know about other you know uh, mini chance model I don't really like them uh, but these ones are not too bad so I might be going for the Panera Panorama pa I can't pronounce this car <laughs> it's a Porsche full doors uh, saloon luxury coupe um, I might go for that one as well anyway thanks for watching I'll see you later